The time has come for the girls' tennis sectional at Bennett Academy. The Red Wings come in as defending sectional champs, but DVC winners Naperville North and many other teams hope to play spoiler. Let's start with the doubles third place match featuring Wabanzi's Anika Srinivasan and Sophia Peranto taking on Wheaton Warrenville South's Kaylee McCabe and Lauren Morton. Right away, the Warrior duo is clicking as Peranto runs and hits the ball with authority for a point. The Tiger group responds to the swing as McCabe does it similar to Peranto, and the advantage goes to the black and orange. Despite the great effort, it's McCabe and Morton winning the third place match by scores of 6-0 and 6-4. Although Peranto and Trinivasan qualify for state, the first set of Warriors to do so since Hannah Owens back in 2016. Jumping to the third place singles match that involves Bennett Academy's Meredith Converse taking on another Tiger and Brooke Ittersagen. It's a long rally early, but Converse finds a way to keep her patience and sends it back where Itter Sagan can't get the return. Converse wins set 1-7-5. Although this matchup features a long go-around of rallies, Itter Sagan and Converse are doing everything they can to keep it rolling and Converse's chance hits the net, giving the point to Itter Sagan. This match is a draw, so winner takes it all in the next set, and it's Itter Sagan continuing to bring the heat on Converse and winning the next two sets by scores of 6-2 and 7-6. The singles championship match features Sophia Alalru from Naperville Central and Oswego Savannah Millard. Millard is looking to keep her juice after a hard-fought semifinal match, but Alalru is no stranger to the stage. The two are in a very competitive set, and it's Alalru catching Millard off guard by getting the tennis ball over her head. Alalru is all business in her championship match, winning 6-1 in both sets and wins another sectional individual title. Our last match is the doubles championship between Naperville North's Brooke Kaufman and Gabby Lee against Bennett's Shane Delaney and Claire Lapotka. Kaufman is the one getting the hit opportunities and Delaney can't get the return to go. Although Delaney and Lapotka don't blink as everyone is battling for that point and Lapotka puts enough firepower to haul in the point. Kaufman and Lee are ready for anything that comes their way. A very intense rally is happening on the courts between the squads, and it's the two Huskies winning the match 6-1 and 6-3. That also helps Naperville North capture the sectional plaque ahead of Bennett Academy and Naperville Central. It was a big surprise. I was like, kind of before our final match, I was like, oh, I think we can win it if we win this final match as a team. And I didn't want to tell Gabby because I didn't want I to had, put pressure yeah. on them. I have no idea. So I was I just no like idea. going out, play our game, and well, we won sectionals as a yeah. team and individual, which is yeah. good. I think Brooke and I just played really well in this mm -hmm. last match. You know, I think this season we've just, we just been improving so much, and you know, we just finally can show our skills in this last match. Yeah. I did not expect, you know, for our team to like win conference or sectionals. But you know, our whole team did we worked so hard. We yeah, we worked so hard and did so well, you know, I'm just so proud yes. of us. I guess I'm most excited for the competition. It's really fun competing there, it's a fun environment. The tough movements were mostly because of the wind. It was really windy out here at this time of the year. It's always windy tennis, which is a little tricky because you have to figure out whether you're playing with or against the wind. And if it's a crosswind, that's even harder. But I don't know, it was mostly just about playing smart tennis. We played very well, best we've played in a while this season today. Um, not, the, not the happiest with the results, but I think, I think we still overall did very well and the performance was great. I mean, I'm excited to go to state, <laughs> see all the like other teams there because they're going to be really good.